Hey guys, Jill Rose from Art Yes Please, and today we're going to do a really simple, what I like to call, or what I'm going to call, um, a comic book charm. Um, it's really, really easy. It takes about, like, five minutes, not including drying time, but you don't really do anything during that. Um, here's what they look like. Um, my, I don't think my camera focuses very well, but, um... It's just a little charm. It's got a little post-in hook, I guess, is what you're going to call it, or what I'm going to call it, so that it can hang on something. And it's just really cute. It's got Spider-Man in there, and they're really easy to make. So here's the tutorial for how to do it. What you're going to need, or what I'm using, is this X-Acto self-healing -heal board, my X-Acto knife, a pair of scissors because... I cannot make a perfect circle with my exacto knife. Um, some um, crystal drops. These are, um, I think, the medium size. They're about the size of a nickel. Um, they're from Signed, Sealed, and Remembered, or that's the brand name. I got them from Joann's, I think. Yeah, Joann's. And then what else is some varnish. This was really cheap, like $2.50. And it's like four ounces. So this is going to last forever with this stuff. And it's actually pretty nice quality from what I can tell so far. Um, I'm going to use a comic book. Um, you can use any kind of paper, like scrapbooking paper, um, something from a magazine, um, a like book. Any really kind of paper is going to work fine. Um, and a paintbrush. This is a really cheap paintbrush. Like, the ones that come with Crayola watercolor is, like, very cheap. So, and then, um, also, there are bigger sizes for these, um, crystal drops. This is about the size of a quarter. This bag's hard to open. Um, it's a little bit bigger. So, but I'm using the smaller size for right now. And... This is how you do it. It's really, really, really easy. And it doesn't take very much time at all. Um, you or I guess what I'm doing is I'm finding the part of the comic book that I want to cut out and place behind my crystal drop. Um, for whatever reason, this crystal drop has a little bit of like white stuck right under the post for the little hook. So I wanted to get something with a white background, that way it didn't stick out that bad. So I found this little speech bubble that's surrounded by all white, and I kind of like what it says on the inside. And that's what I'm going to use. So the next step, like, but keep in mind when you're searching for um, something that you want to put behind your crystal drop, that it's going to change the size of it a little bit, so I hope I'm getting this. Um, here's my little speech bubble, and then once you put the crystal drop over it, it kind of rounds it out a little bit, almost magnifies it, just a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you just want to make sure that it fits well inside the crystal drop, even once it's on top, because it does change the shape of it a little bit. Like I said, magnifies it and kind of makes it a little bit bigger. So um, next what you're going to do is you're going to take your X-Acto knife, and, or at least what I'm going to do, is um, cut out the sheets of, like, just that page of the comic. Because you don't want to cut through the whole comic. And it's a lot easier to cut than too. And put the crystal drop on it. You can go around with um, a pencil and just trace it around the outside real quick. But I find that I can't get the right size of the drop as easily as just holding it down really firmly and going along the outside of the X-Acto knife. Um, keep in mind that you have to press it pretty firmly or it's going to move around and it's kind of hard to get it in the same position again. So you want to cut as closely to the crystal drop as possible because you're pretty much just gluing it on the back of it and you don't really want any overlap or overlay I suppose is what it may be called. <laughs> So, finish it up with my circle real quick. It's just going to come right out. And you can also just use scissors if you want to, like, 
just trace around the outside of it, outside of the crystal drop, and then just cut it out with some scissors. I'm using the scissors to kind of round it out a bit. It makes it a little bit, um, have like straight points when I use the X-Acto knife. Um, you can also use a punch. That'll just punch a perfect circle right into the paper. Keep in mind that it doesn't have to be perfect because it does just magnify it and pretty much you can't even see the edges. So I've got a little bit of overlay so I'm going to cut off just a little bit more. Like I said it does not have to be perfect by any means. So, But at the same time it does kind of magnify mistakes that you make. So keep in mind to be a little bit careful. Alright, so the next step is using some varnish to, um, I'm using it as some glue. Since it dries clear, I find it best. Um, I would clean off the back of your crystal drop just to make sure that it's going to stick and no oils from your skin are going to mess with it. This is a very improper way to do it. <laughs> I actually squirted it out a little bit at the top, but whatever, it works. So you're just going to paint some varnish onto the crystal drop. It's going to come out a little bit um, milky almost, not very clear, but it will dry clear as long as you don't put way too much on there. And what I like to do is... Hold it by the little post in the bottom and then stick it on so I can see where it's going to go. And then push it down on there. Um, make sure there are no bubbles trapped in there. So just kind of squish it out to the side. Like hold it and then push. So some varnish may get on your fingers, but come on, it's crafting. You can get a little bit messy. Alright. So now you can tell that the speech bubble is in there. The varnish isn't dry yet, so it's not exactly clear. Looks a little milky. Sorry, this thing doesn't want to focus, but you pretty much get the point. And so the next step, or the last few steps I should say, I suppose, are just painting some varnish on to the back of the piece of the comic or paper, and then a little bit over onto the edge of the crystal drop. And this just helps it to stick and helps glue it on there. And um, right now I have three coats on my other one. I'm probably going to do another one, just four. It takes a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of varnish. So you've got it painted onto the back. And then when it dries, it dries completely clear. And actually makes it like really shiny and almost makes the color stick out a little bit. So this is what it's going to look like when it's all done. So, like I said, really, really simple craft, and it's super cute and completely original. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and let me know if you have any questions, and I'll answer them for you. Thank you very much.